let's talk about ovarian cancer just help us understand what it is and how to understand better so before we start about ovarian cancer can i just explain a little bit about what an ovary is of course right? so uh, ovary is also a gland in our body like a female organ in our body which uh, the main role of the ovary is to produce eggs right which helps a woman remain fertile and also produce a uh, female hormones like the progesterone and estrogen mm-hmm. okay so they are small they are two in number and uh, they are located right next to the ovary near the uterus and the fallopian tube and they are small white almond shaped uh, glands okay so when you're talking about cancer of the ovary you're actually talking about cancer of these two small uh, egg. glands egg producing hormone producing glands in the female body okay, okay? Uh, now the whole female reproductive system is uh, made up of the uterus the tubes the ovaries the cervix the vagina the vulva right to put it in whole uh, ovarian cancer is one of the rarest forms of cancer when concerned with these all in combination i think it is it ranks fifth correct. overall right correct overall it ranks around fifth in uh, female cancers right but uh, ovarian cancer unfortunately is a cancer which gets detected very late okay okay so um, like ovarian cancer the person doesn't walk into your clinic and say ke, you know shayad mujhe ovarian, ovarian cancer. cancer hai it doesn't happen uh the symptoms the woman comes to you with are also very vague symptoms mm-hmm. so the symptoms of ovarian cancer are bloating uh pain in abdomen uh, may be change in her uh, menstrual cycles uh increased frequency in micturition mm-hmm. that is urination so these are all very vague symptoms uh even if a woman does walk into a opd for a medical or a gynac uh doctor your the first thing that's going to come to your mind is not ovarian cancer when she gives yeah, you these symptoms because these symptoms are really uh, generic also. exactly they're very generic symptoms you're going to try and rule out other issues other problems before you as a doctor also think about ovarian cancer unless she comes to you with um, a strong positive family history of ovarian cancer or any other um, female reproductive cancers in the family if she herself is a cancer survivor okay okay then if any cancer survivor walks into your clinic you do think of cancer as one of your priorities and diagnosis for any symptoms you do try and rule it out first right and uh, because ovarian cancer gets detected late unfortunately that is the reason ovarian cancer has a very high um morbid and mortality rate right. yeah and just now you spoke about uh, genetics so right. does this uh, get pass on uh ovarian cancer can be genetically related but not much mm-hmm. so you can have the braca1 braca2 gene which is also a breast cancer mm-hmm. uh, related gene which can lead to causing ovarian cancer okay. but the uh, association is not very high so i would say 10% or 20% if i'm not wrong maximum of ovarian cancers could be genetic related okay most of the ovarian cancers are just uh, on their own unfortunately because of genetic mutation of course so any habits that leads to this cancer uh not habits as such but there are certain um, so there are no causable factors mm-hmm. there is no nothing like you know 0.1 2 3 can lead to ovarian cancer so if you avoid 1 2 3 you're safe from ovarian cancer unfortunately we don't have that uh, but ovarian cancer is prevented or rather seen less in women who've had at least one childbirth oh, okay okay who have been taking oral contraceptive pills for a certain duration in their uh, life mm-hmm. okay who have breastfed their children now the logic behind all this is that all these women who've had a issue or who've breastfed or are on contraceptive pills mm-hmm. you're basically reducing the ovulation and the ovulatory time of the ovary okay so the ovary has remained quiet for that much time that many months mm-hmm. and that is the reason those women have a lesser chance of developing ovarian cancer but just because that is the thing you're not going to tell every woman okay now go get pregnant right. it must also have some disadvantages it does right so if oral contraceptive pills uh, are an advantage for ovarian cancer 
a long standing use of oral contraceptive pills can lead to breast cancer can lead to cervical cancer long standing use of oral contraceptive pills prevents ovarian cancer to a certain extent prevents endometrial cancer so it has its pros and cons okay. so basically you need to talk to your physician you need to talk to your gynec to know you know what whether the benefits actually outweigh the pros